So what happens when it's a Saturday night, you've had a few beers and you went onto Amazon? This happens. I'm Ryan Worthwick and things are about to get bright in here. So welcome back to the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel that I created at the start of lockdown to kind of ease any boredom that might arise from that. I then cut my hair two weeks after launching it and was not prepared to appear on the camera after that. But I thought I'd do a little video today of something that happened on Saturday. I drunkenly went onto Amazon after a Zoom call on Saturday night and saw these. Now I've seen a few YouTubers do um, videos on these before. These are DR neon guitar strings. They are called the Luminescent String, painting, painting pendant. Uh, and you can get them in uh, lots of different colours as well. I've got them in green, you can get them in red, I think you can get them in blue and in multicolours as well. Now, the one in really interesting thing that is going to happen when I put these on my main Telecaster in just a bit is that obviously with having a drink with me, I maybe wasn't paying as much attention as what I should be and I've ordered nines. Now, I'm somebody who normally plays on elevens, so these are very, very light strings, especially for me. And um, for those of you who don't play play the guitar, I mean, me playing guitar on this gauge is a bit like a fully grown adult sitting on a, a little chair that is designed for kids. There's a good chance that something is going to break. So um, I don't expect these guitar uh, these strings to be on my guitar for that uh, for that long. But um, as if by magic, these will appear on my Telecaster in three, two, one. That's probably the worst bit of editing in history, considering I moved the camera in between us. But anyway, they are on my guitar right now, and they look absolutely incredible. I mean, for strings that are only about three, four pounds more than normal strings, especially if you play any balls and stuff like that, they're only a few pounds more, and they look absolutely incredible. I mean, even in the daylight, even with the daylight that's coming through the living room window right now, they look incredible. Uh, it's midday right now, and... This is where we get to the sort of next hurdle that I'm going to have to try and jump over um, because I've bought these strings, the, well, they've arrived the day before the longest day of the year. So darkness isn't exactly something that we have a lot of right now and I don't think the neighbours would be happy if I was to plug this in uh, at around about 1 or 2 in the morning. Might happen though. Um, so, let's bring out a UV torchlight and go through to uh, the spare room where I've tried to block out every bit of light that I can. And let's see how these look. So lighting in here isn't gonna be the best because I'm actually using a five pound UV torch off of Amazon, but I mean, they look absolutely amazing under the UV lighting. It just looks incredible. And um, so let's plug her in and see how it sounds. Cause I mean, it doesn't matter how good it looks, it looks to sound good too. <laughs> If only Lord had put in more prominent guitar parts in green light, then it might have made for a better video. I honestly feel how you feel when you come out of the pictures when you've spent two hours in darkness and then you, the light hits you. <laughs> honestly, in conclusion, these strings are amazing. They look incredible, which is obviously what they are designed to do. They play very well as well. Of course, I don't um, have the right gauge on for me, so they are a little bit light. Um, other than that, they are a great, great find. Only a few quid more than that regular strings as well. So it's not something that I'd be buying every time, but it's certainly a wee treat. Um, so thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Although I can't promise that there'll be any videos anytime soon unless I buy some more uh, sort of guitar gimmicks. Um, but thank you very much for watching.